Uh, it's not, I mean, it's really not bad. Yeah. All things considered, it could be a whole lot worse. I mean, we, could, we could have wind chills below zero this time of year. It's not that uncommon for us, uh, but we do have a beautiful night looking out downtown. We're at 45 degrees winds completely calm, so it is somewhat comfortable out there uh, as our wind chills have not dipped. Skies are clear. Uh, nice to see that uh, sun out there again, but that's allowed temperatures to taper back. We're in the 30s to the north, 45 for the metro, 37 down in Clorinda. And you look at the wind chills again. We've got some spots to the north where the wind's just a touch stronger. That's left their wind chills in the upper 20s. Otherwise, the rest of us, for the most part, have calm winds, so it's not really even a factor. Tomorrow, though, we're warming up. We might start off a little chilly, upper 20s to low 30s as you wake up. But by the afternoon, soaked in sunshine, temperatures back close to 60 degrees. It is going to be an absolutely beautiful Saturday. So let's shake this thing out for you here. You can see maybe a passing cloud or two winds stay light and then we work our way in towards Sunday and you can see clouds start to build and we'll bring that wind back and even bring in chances for some showers late Sunday, which we desperately need. Look at the metro. We're nearly a foot below average. Uh, for precipitation, 12 and a half inches below average for Waterloo. Atumwa coming in nearly 17 inches below average. That's the second driest uh, on record, or I should say year on record, uh, that they have had. And you can see Waterloo at the eighth driest, the Metro and Mason City at 18th driest. So looking at a couple things for you here. We've got that rain chance Sunday into Monday. Again, bulk of that rain should fall in southern Iowa uh, on Monday. But some signs are pointing to the end of next week for perhaps some snowflakes to fly. Again, every time we've seen si si uh, excuse me, systems like this work their way in as we get closer, it just hasn't materialized, but one we'll have to keep an eye on here, especially for Black Fly Friday travelers and Thanksgiving travelers and the like. Uh, but for the time being, next few days, not bad. Finally get some of that much needed rain as we start next week. Temperatures, though, chilling out in a hurry. We're down to 36 for Thanksgiving with overnight lows in the low to mid 20s Friday and Saturday morning.